For the dying of your might, when the sun of peace and justice fills the earth with radiant light. My name is Chicago Joe Schuler. I'm originally from McAllen, Texas, in a region called the Rio Grande Valley, and I'm 25 years old and I'm uh, currently a second year novice looking forward to first vows. Going into college, I knew I wanted to do something that would help me to become more like Christ. And I continued to meet Marianists throughout my college career that showed me that religious life could be the way to do that. And I continued every step after graduation just saying, will this work? And it has. Coming into the novitiate, my expectations were that of kind of this time of deep prayer and solitude. What you might find out about yourself or what God is calling you to might be scary. And sometimes that can be a roadblock to prayer, is that what God asks of you is bigger than, than you think you're ready for. Times of deep prayer entering into the desert like Jesus did where we don't even have any of our phones or electronics communication devices, where I can just go and be with God for several hours and just say, Lord, what is it that you're calling me to? We wake up, we enter into the chapel together, and we sit in common meditation for 30 minutes. Brothers do different forms of that, and it looks different for each brother. We have informal times too beyond prayer where we're eating breakfast or lunch around the table we meet each other in the halls and those are really great moments of what i would say community because we get to know each other better and those moments of prayer informal times and community meals are times where i say yeah community life this religious life is something that i'm continually being called into Glory to the Father and to the Son. I have a lot of friends who aren't Catholic, aren't Christian, some agnostic, some atheist. And the support that I've received from them has been immeasurable. They say, I see how this has changed your life for the better and made you a better person. And so, they're going to continue to support me in that. God, forever and ever. Amen. You know, when I talk to family members, say, I just want you to be happy. I am. And, and, but more than happiness, I'm filled with joy. If somebody were to ask me if it is worth it, if all that time and formation was worth it, 70 times 7, <laughs> yes. I don't deserve how good it's been to me, really. A big part of discernment is taking a step. You can sit and pray and pray and pray, but discernment requires that you take action or non-action. Both of those are a decision, but you have to make the decision. So don't be afraid to take the first step.